Hello everyone and welcome to another segment of Island Girl Foods TV. Today you'll be joining me in sunny breezy islands of the Bahamas for one of my favorite not street foods but beach foods Bahama grilled fish. Now usually we prepare grouper, however grouper is also part of the sea bass family so you can use sea bass or any thick enough white fish as even a nice halibut. So guys just remember to hit that subscribe button, like and comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell on the side so you're notified every week as I upload new videos. As I always say, if you're ready or if you're going, let's go. And as always, our ingredients are in its place. I have two grouper fillets. They weigh about 120 grams each, along with my pepper salt seasoning and we want to make sure you season the fillets on both sides. So I have one ripe planting sliced a half inch diagonally and one cup of sweet potatoes diced and grilled. I have two red bell pepper rings along with two green bell pepper rings, a half of an onion, large dice, approximately a half inch dice, and one cup of cherry tomatoes cut in half. And to make my sour orange, I have the juice of one lime, one lemon, and half of a navel orange, and one teaspoon of Caribbean pepper sauce. Place a large enough sheet of foil paper down with a sheet of parchment paper on top. Place four slices of plantains as the bed for your fish. We're going to add your bell pepper rings, a red and a green ring, some onions on top of the fish. Position your potatoes around the fish as well as your cherry tomatoes. Then you want to bring the parchment and fall paper up into a pocket and then spoon in the sour orange juices along with the pepper sauce if using your thyme sprigs and then cover your parchment and your foil paper tightly to make a purse. Add them to a 400 degree Fahrenheit grill and you're going to grill for approximately 30 minutes. Your fish should be perfectly cooked, light and flaky. You can test with a fork and your vegetables should be bright, robust, and al dente. Okay, so now we're back guys, and as usual, the aromas are filling the air, these wonderful citrusy aromas, so I can't wait to dig in. In the Bahamas, we usually pair this when uh, you're on the beach and you stop to any grill house or local fish fry, they usually pair it with a scoop of white rice or steamed rice. But today, you know, I'm a little extra, so I went with some steamed coconut rice. So, guys, can you see this? Oh my goodness, I'm talking about the flavors that just resonating through the house. And here is our delicious vegetables, herbs, all of these citrusy juices coming together like a beautiful, beautiful harmonized marriage. Mm, can't wait. So going in with some of this steamed coconut rice and I'm just going to put it to the side because this is a very rustic type of dish. Going in light and flaky fish. Get some of those tomatoes. The delicious 
I love sweet potato and we can't forget plantains. I'm trying to get everything in one bite and a little of the rice. <laughs> guys I know I always say this but you've got to try this I mean the citrusy flavors this ropus flavor and you know the heat is not intense at all it's just a mild heat that creates a perfect balance so if you're looking for a healthy quick meal that can also be done in your oven you have to make Bahama grilled fish okay trust your island girl and until next time guys keep in isolation keep staying safe and we'll meet again next week <laughs>